of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the long-awaited Savior. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the promised Messiah. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel, God with us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions. And in our trials, grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of foreign way, former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright from the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his faith, waste and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be the guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors together, their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse sent up a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice 
shall flourish in his time, and the fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall the tribes of the earth be blessed. All nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the son, who is the Son except the Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you heard, but did not hear it. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I always think that one of the blessings of the Advent season is that we read from the book of the prophet Isaiah. And you know, when we listen to the prophet Isaiah, he has this beautiful vision, this beautiful vision of hope, that the way that the world is today does not have to be that way. And that when the Savior comes in his power, all things will be restored. All things will be restored in Christ. When we think about this wonderful gift of hope, in the very beginning of the reading, we heard that a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse. Now, many times when we think of a stump, we think of that what's left over when we cut down a tree. It's dead. Many times people just leave it there, but other people want to dig it up because it has no value. It's dead. But Isaiah tells us that from that dead stump, which means from their dead faith, a shoot shall blossom. That from that dead faith, something new will come, new life will come again. And that is, of course, Jesus, who comes from the dead faith of those ancestors and who comes to bring us new life. And Isaiah has this beautiful vision where all of creation is restored. When we listen to that the wolf will be the guest of the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the kid, the calf and the young lion shall browse together with the child to guide them. All of them are natural enemies of one another. And because sin entered into the world, there has been death and destruction. When the beginning of Genesis tells us, when God created the Garden of Eden, all the animals worked together, lived together in peace. The animals did not start to attack and use one another for food until sin entered in. And so Isaiah has this beautiful vision that all of creation will be restored to its original goodness, to that original Garden of Eden in Jesus Christ. For no harm or ruin will be on my mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. The world we live in today is indeed filled with evil, destruction. And you know why it is? It's because people don't have the knowledge of the Lord. 
But when the Lord comes again in glory to restore all things, we will all have the knowledge of the Lord and live in peace and harmony with each other on that mountain, which refers to the glory of God's kingdom. Isaiah is this perfect message for our world today, that message of hope, that Jesus will restore all things. And the Jesus, that sprout from Jesse, the root of Jesse, shall be a signal for all. Today, my friends, even in the midst of the world's despair, let us not lose hope. Let us know that Jesus will come and he will restore all things in himself. All of creation will go back to its original goodness. There will be no destruction, no violence, no hatred. We have to be able to dream of that new creation. We have to have hope. For without hope, there is despair. There is doubt. The Lord gives us that gift. He gives us that promise. And when Jesus gives us a promise, it will be fulfilled. And as we continue our Advent journey, let us place our needs before God. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may prepare herself for the coming of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will place down their weapons of war, the rhetoric of hatred, and work together for the common good to establish the new kingdom among us, the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life from the moment of conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish community, that during this Advent journey, we may open our hearts and our homes to receive the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, for the lonely, for the oppressed, may they know the healing touch of our Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have died, that they may be welcomed into the glorious light of heaven. We pray for those who mourn for them. May they be comforted in our faith and hope in resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, and for all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to the altar today in the very silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus as he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is made last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance of your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Peace be with you. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel.